In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the lit master node in Shader Graph with a high definition render pipeline to create great looking high fidelity materials with features such as iridescence and translucency. I've got a small scene here with a bonsai tree and a butterfly. At first glance, you might think that it's a nice looking scene and a nice enough looking butterfly. However, I've got another butterfly here that looks much better. It has wings that change color as the viewing angle changes and if we take a look underneath, the wings glow as light passes through them. Our main butterfly's wings and body are both textured using a standard lit material. However, our second butterfly is taking advantage of some of the great features of Shader Graph and the Lit Master Node to achieve this effect. Let's take a look at how we can use Shader Graph and the Lit Master Node to create our own shader and really make our main butterfly model shine. Let's start by improving our butterfly's body. Let's create a new Shader Graph shader for our body by going to Create, Shader, HDRP, Lit Graph. And let's then create a new material using the shader by right clicking and choosing Create, Material. Let's assign this to our mesh. And then let's open up our shader. The body of our butterfly should be iridescent. Iridescence is the phenomenon of a surface gradually changing color as the view angle of the surface changes, producing a rainbow like effect. This can be observed on surfaces like that of a bubble, a compact disc, or motor oil spilled on a road. Let's enable iridescence on our shader by selecting our master node, clicking the cog wheel, and changing the material type from standard to iridescence. We can visualize the effect of different types of iridescence by adding a sample gradient and adjusting the layer thickness. As you can see, the iridescent mask property adjusts the intensity of the effect across the mesh, and the thickness changes the color gradient created by the effect. For accurate iridescence, it's worth noting that this thickness value is a nanometer value, and the 0 to 1 value remaps to 0 to 3000 nanometers. Let's expose both of these as properties and set our mask value to 1 and our thickness value to 0 0.8. Now that our body is nice and iridescent, we just need to add some texture to it to make the surface more realistic. Let's add a Sample Texture 2D node and assign a normal map for a butterfly. Notice when we apply a normal map, it also affects the iridescence on our material. Our normal map is a bit too big, and we want our surface to look more like scales. So back in our shader, let's add a tiling and offset node to our UV and tile our normal map by about 30 horizontally and 35 vertically. This is a bit better, but we're still getting some issues with the mesh down the center here. Let's offset this slightly by adding a rotate node and rotating the UV by about negative 0.3. Now it looks like our butterfly is covered in scales that wrap around the contours of its body. Let's also add a color node to the base color and expose it as a property in the inspector. And let's make sure this is set to a dark black color. Finally, Let's use the information in the normal map texture to set the smoothness on our butterfly. Let's use a split node to break apart the channels and add the R and G channels together. Let's then create a lerp node and set the combined results from our channels as our time property. We'll use this result to lerp our smoothness value between 0.8 and 0.5. This means that the light and dark parts of this combined texture will influence and blend the smoothness value. Using the normal map to influence the smoothness value like this creates realistic depth to the surface of our body. So our butterfly's body now looks much more realistic and iridescent. Let's take a look at how we can improve the look of our wings. Let's choose Create, Shader, HDRP, Lit Graph, and name it Top Wing. Let's also create a material here that uses the shader and assign it to our top wings. In our shader graph, Let's change the material type on our master node from standard to iridescent, and because we want to simulate light passing through the wing, let's set the surface type to transparent. Next, we'll create a sample texture 2D node for both the texture and normal map of our wing. Both of our wings are going to be sharing some operations, so I've created a subgraph for them. Here, we're applying the same process as we did to texture our body with the normal map and sending the smoothness and normal to the output of this subgraph. Above, we're taking an input mask and using the intensity values of the mask to blend between both color and transparency and outputting the result. 
our wing texture will act as the base color input, and the alpha channel will act as our alpha mask input. Let's also hook the blue channel into our overlay mask. We'll also assign our normal map to the main normal input. In our blackboard, let's add two colors, one for the brightness tint and another for the darkness tint, and then let's assign these to the diffuse shadow and diffuse brightness inputs of our subgraph. Let's also add a vector one for transparency and two vector ones for the smoothness values our normal map texture will lerp between. Let's then assign these to the inputs of our subgraph. And finally, let's assign the outputs into our lit master node. Let's assign the blue channel of our texture as our iridescence mask and set the layer thickness to one. Let's also set the metallic to one. Then let's switch our material from default to transparent. And now the top wings of our butterfly look much more vibrant. We can control multiple different parts of the wing. We can tint the wing color across both shadows and highlights and influence the smoothness of different parts of the wing. The final thing we need to do is adjust the wing mesh underneath. Currently, this side of the mesh is in shadow. So let's brighten it up and create the effect of light passing through the top wings and out of our bottom wings here by creating a translucent shader. Let's choose Create, Shader, HDRP, Lit Graph, and name it Bottom Wing. Let's also create a material here and assign it to our mesh. In our shader graph, let's change the material type on our master node from standard to translucent and set the surface type to transparent. Then we'll repeat the process of creating and hooking up values to our butterfly wing node and outputting them to our master node. However, we're also going to use the red channel of our main texture to influence the thickness value of our translucency and modulate the intensity of the light passing through the surface. Now, when we move the light around behind our wing, it's no longer in shadow and simulates light passing from above and scattering through it. As you can see, the Lit Shader Master Node is a powerful way to customize your materials in the high definition render pipeline and improve the characteristics of surfaces in your project. For more information on the Lit Shader Master Node, Shader Graph, and the high definition render pipeline, follow the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.